Mm. Well, I didn't even know. I didn't know you asked Jose, can I have that? I asked, and yep. I did not know that. Yeah, and, and I, I will go back through the recordings and find it. Um, it was probably back, uh, probably around April or May, um, where I asked to have it. And um, we launched by July. Wow. So May, June, July. So yep. two, two to three months ish. Two to three months ish. Um, and it's, I had the design done probably within two weeks because I took what I learned from recession proof and getting your logo done was to go to freelancer. And so I went to freelancer and I put out a little bid out there, a little contest and, uh, said, you know, this is what I want I, you know, looked for logo design, but clothing logo, logo design, not, not a, uh, you know, professional design, so to speak. And um, I saw a font that I liked. And then I knew I wanted to have a mask. You know what I'm saying? I knew some way, shape or form, I wanted to have a mask. And so I asked the young man to do it in a font. And then my sister called, it called me and said, well, what about the vigilante? And I'm like, well, what's that? You know, what is that? I don't even know mm -hmm. what the vigilante is. And she's like, here, this is what it looks like. I have a thing for clowns. It's crazy. I don't like clowns. I love Joker and Harley Quinn. I, I have them both tattooed on my leg. I love Joker and Harley Quinn. Um, so I wanted something like that. Not the Joker face, but something. And she gave me the vigilante face. And I and I asked the designer, can you put that inside of the O? And between that and it was a couple of other logos, to be a thousand percent honest, I didn't even like the logo that selected. I didn't even like it. But the people that I sent it to were like, yeah, that one. That's the one. It's not, this was not this wasn't gonna be that wasn't gonna be my choice. <laughs> but I had what I had sense enough to know that it wasn't about what resonated with me. It was about what resonated with everybody else. And so that's how I ended up we got the logo. I knew like I said, I knew nothing about the apparel space. We had a QA on Thursdays, start asking Dave some questions. Where do you get shirts from? This and, and, and I had a friend of mine who was in the apparel space and he was like, I order my shirts from Pakistan. Gave me his guy in Pakistan, and um, I had just got approved for a little business credit card, and I took five hundred sixty-four dollars and had the first set of, of shirts printed from Pakistan. Uh, and once they came in, um, I was I was gonna release. You know what I mean? There was a young man. I don't know if he's in a morning meetup anymore or not. His name is TJ, and he loved the brand so much. He said, "Kelly, I'll set up your Shopify." I'm like, you know, I, you know, you can teach me. No, nah, I got it. Do this. Give me the passwords. I'll set everything up. He set up the entire back end of, the, of, of Shopify. And um, we got that set up. And then there's a young lady. Her name is Samara. So, yeah, Samara. I call her Sam. She's in the morning meetup uh, every now and again. And she pops in and pops out. And um, she's the one who did the marketing promo for the brand for we released. She said, I love for it. Same thing. I love the brand. Um, it's like, it's fire. Like it's every, like it's everything. She came to my house with her. Um, I think it's her now boyfriend. He's a, a videographer. I had my own photographer come. I had five friends who, you know, I felt like were model faces. There's a basketball court in the back of my neighborhood. And that's where we shot the promo video in my house. And then at the, the basketball court, we launched, uh, July 16th at 11, 11 sold out. We had 25 units. Um, about five, we use about five of them for, you know, the, the shoot and everything like that. So we had about 20, um, 20 units left and we sold oversold, I think triple, if I'm not mistaken, when the brand launched. Wow. Wow. Yeah. From, from three months before, not knowing anything about the apparel space, nothing about the apparel space. And then you hear, you hearing a motto that you said, well, mm -hmm. you hearing a mantra that you mm -hmm. said, I like this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna live this. Mm -hmm. And then somebody helped you with the Shopify. Mm -hmm. Somebody helped you with the promo mm -hmm. and then tripled down mm -hmm. on sales with the promo launch. Mm -hmm. Tripled down and then it's like, okay, now what? So the next Thursday we had Q and A day. I told Dave what happened. I'm like, bro, I don't know where to get because what I can't do is wait for Pakistan again because the timing was it wasn't going to be good. He said, you go here, go to Alpha Broder, 
you know, go to these, go to these places, order these shirts, and you need to connect with Joe. He'll get your shirts printed. So I connected with Joe, he gave me Joe's number. I connected with Joe, and the prints were ready by time I went to the content creation boot camp the week of August 4th through the 6th. I landed in uh, in, in Atlanta, got in my rental car, drove down to meet Joe, and I had probably about four boxes of t-shirts. Um, but prior to my prior to me going, I researched where to get um, like the packing, the bags and everything like that, shipping mm-hmm. bags, everything like that. I got a label maker from Amazon. So one of my bags that I took down to Atlanta literally was just packing bags, label maker, um, and shipping bags. And so when I got down there, oh, and the little folding thing. Uh, I don't even know if I had that. I think I actually hand folded those. And uh, I went, got all that stuff, went to my Airbnb. I went to the mixer that we had at uh, Top Golf. I came back that night. I probably didn't go to sleep till about two, maybe one, one, one o'clock, uh, fulfilling all of the back orders um, and uh, shipping those out. So when, we, when I went to the content creation boot camp, when we had lunchtime, everybody else was eating lunch. I was headed to the post office to ship my really huge first, uh, the, the remaining shipments from the initial launch back. So I did that while I was down there. And then those shirts, the extra shirts that I had, because I had started playing with some colors. And it's the moment I showed up to, you know, the the content creation boot camp, it's like, hey, do you got these shirts? You got shirts with you? And I'm like, well, yeah. And I'm like, but I don't even know how to check these things out, you know, because I didn't want to do cash app or anything like that. I did at the time. Uh, but Joe was like, hey, this is how you use the Shopify POS system. Oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. And it straight up looked like a bruh man selling Whitney, Whitney Hutton shirts out of the trunk. At the at the content creation boot camp, <laughs> Witty Hutton shirts. That's funny. I remember yeah, that episode, man. Martin. That's funny. Yeah, one of my favorite shows. Wow, wow. So, so from from where the ugly brand is now, mm-hmm. right? Did you it, did you even expect it to hit this level of success? Because how many months is it now from when you started? We're not even a year, so we're probably about uh, eight months. Maybe you got July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Seven months, eight months in March. Okay, so seven, so seven, seven months. And how yep. how many units would you would you guesstimate that that you that you moved? Oh man, I'd probably say a, a good. Uh, I'd say about a good mm, one to two thousand. One to two thousand being generous. Yeah, I need to I need one to look at the. Uh, I didn't go questions because I, I I now want to look at the answer. I want to go on Shopify and find the answer out, and I will find it out for you. But one to I'll, I'll say it over a thousand for sure. Even over, even over a thousand. Goodness, good, even over a thousand. good night. And those night. are the units that uh, those are the units that have been paid for. Uh, there, are, I do have units that I've given to um, influencers. Um, so, but, but the units that have been paid for definitely it's, it's been, it's over a thousand for sure. Yeah. Lee. And then who, and then who are some of the people that we've seen wear your brand? Cause I mean, I've, I've, I've seen it out in these streets. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, I've given it to uh Rick Ross. He's had it on, um, Pushman Mitch. He's had, he's got all five of the color, all four of the t-shirt releases. That was, he got those in Atlanta um, when I was down there. Of course, Dave. Uh, Jose, um, there's a couple other people I know they've had it. Uh, who else? No, Jason White. He's a government contract. He's got the shirt, the hoodie. I just was able to pass it off to Brett for the the owner of Bel Air this weekend. He put pass off the one that you have to him. Um, I was able to get one of Wall Street Trapper this weekend. Um, so you know. I don't have a problem shooting my shot. There's a couple of people I got in my DMs that I need to send some to. Um, one of the husbands from Married to Medicine, I'll be sending his to um, this weekend to him. Um, so you know, I, I, I don't, uh, I don't have a problem shooting a shot. Man, you out here in these streets because a, th- a thousand yeah. units is a, a thousand units is is very sizable. I yep. mean, yep. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the stats are for, you know, moving apparel in the first year, but a thousand is a thousand ain't, ain't nothing to put your nose up at. 
Yeah, I uh, I, I'm actually going to look that up. Um, what is the common number? And then I want to know my exact number. I, I never, no, I've never looked at it. I never looked at it. I, I, but and that's one thing that I, I I need to get better in is looking at numbers. Um, but I, I just don't focus on that. I focus a lot on the creativity and just getting it in the hands of um, awesome people. There's a young man uh, in Baltimore. Uh, his name is Timothy. And he's a, a drummer and a dancer, like at the same time. The dude is crazy. It's footwork and stick work. It's nuts. Um, he just got a hoodie this weekend as well. I, I, I shipped that off to him. And once again, just sliding in the DM. Uh, Corey Arbinger from Support Support Black Colleges has has our brand too. So, uh, right. yeah. Yeah, that's 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 dope. That's dope. So if if there's somebody out there and they they're like, I want to get in the apparel space. Well, what, what mm-hmm. would be the first thing that, that you would tell them? Um, first thing I would tell them is to to love love your brand, love your brand, love what it stands for, because if you if you if you get into the apparel space and in, in this, I feel like this is in any business. If you get into it for the financial gain, you're going to lose interest. But if you get into it for the love of what it is that you're doing, it, I don't think that that's going to go away. Um, so for me, the first thing that I would tell anybody, if you, if you what, make sure you develop a purpose behind your brand and that purpose can be whatever it is, you know, it can be whatever you want it to be. It could be motivation. It could simply be athletics. It could be whatever, but just, just love, love your brand. You know, logos can be changed. Uh, really names can be changed if you wanted to, but love your love, love your brand because it's going to be what you become. You know, I don't know, you know, more people know me than when people come and see me more than anything is ugly brand. What's going on? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they might know my name because of Coach K, but there's some people who don't, but they do know the ugly brand. So do it ugly, do it ugly. That's all I hear. So, you know, it has become my identity. 